Say where you feel for sad. Come here, say where me feel for sad. Say where you feel for sad. Alright, guys, we're back. We're going to the third college today. So I'm about to go pick pick up the kids. Because we're doing like a half day school and telling them not going to school today because it's a later tour. So we're going on, we're heading on to Southern Connecticut State University. Alright, so I'll see you when we're there. So we're here and we're just waiting for everybody to come in. It's going to be a little bit similar to MS MCLA in terms of having a group tour versus us walking by ourselves. So let's see how many people show up and what time they come. We should start at 2.30. It's now 2.25. So let's see. You need to shake it her, okay? Yeah. You said that already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's a hundred bucks. You don't want this? You guys, we're off to our tour. We're going to lose a lot of weight today because I'm only for walking as usual. It's just two family. So when I walk fast as ever, we do. Let's try to play catch up. All right, so we're gonna start with this building here. Actually, this is our Wintergreen building. Uh, this building basically has anything to do with admissions, financial aid, all of the technical stuff that you do, like when you're applying and what you're here. Uh, we have our card office here. So as a full-time student who lives on campus, uh, as a part of your tuition, you get this thing called the UPass. It's completely free. You're already paying for it. So if you don't have a car, I highly recommend it. It gives you access to most trains and buses in the whole state of Connecticut, all for free. Uh, if you do have a car as a freshman, you can bring it. It's all free. You don't have to pay for anything. Uh, so always good to keep in mind. Uh, Julia, I have an e-pass. Uh, I used to use it kind of with the train to go home before I had my car. But again, it's all free. It's very convenient. We have a shuttle on campus that we'll see uh, we'll going on there. And that shuttle goes off campus to the train station, some grocery stores. It used to go to the mall. It's not doing that currently because of COVID, unfortunately. But I like to think they'll do that again soon. Uh, right back over there is our winter. Right over there is 
there is uh, our theater department. So if anyone's interested in drama, it'll be all the way down there. We have Earl Hall right there. That's our fine art building and music building. So if you're interested in the arts or music, it'll be in there. Then our student center, which we'll also go inside of, that has um, food, events, clubs. We'll go over that when we're in there. But this is basically where you're going to be for the majority of your day on campus. Uh, but yeah, so in the library, we have this system where every floor that you go up, it gets a little bit quieter. It's really for doing uh, you know, partner work, studying really anything in that regard. The top floor is the graduate floor, so you don't have to worry about that. Not right now. <laughs> uh, the first floor is uh, level two, meaning that you can talk, but you know, gotta keep quiet because people are studying. We have uh, Starbucks in there, and we have this thing called the Owl Perk, which is kind of like a little store on campus to get food and drinks and snacks and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, you can take out some of your classes, such as you can write bones if you're into nursing, many bones, you can do uh, articles, fossils, all that kind of fun stuff. We have a lot of computer labs here. Uh, as you go up to the higher floors, there are classrooms in there with a lot of computers. They'll do um, like lecture-based classes or journalism classes, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, there's also rooms in here that you can rent out to study, so it's like just your group of people can be in there. Uh, and we also have free tutoring, that's a part of your tuition. You can just make an appointment online, show up, and they'll just help you out before we're gonna go inside. And just make sure that you're gonna have. Um, I was part of the course as well, but we were just late. Oh, we got stuck in class. Yeah, no, I guess we go there. It's really Starbucks is located at the printer's all over here. It's about, I want to say, five cents a page to print. It's very convenient. I printed five pages earlier. It was just a quarter, so very nice. I brought a printer to school and I never used it. These are just a lot more convenient. They have ink, they color everything. It's just really nice. So with this girl, it was hard to hear what she was saying. She was moving so fast, it was just ridiculous. So we're trying to play catch up, running behind her, trying to figure out what she's saying, what she's showing us. It was just crazy. the fish? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if anyone's interested in nursing or anything like health science related, right over there is our new nursing building. It'll be up and running by the next semester. Then right there is the health gym. That's been turned into kind of like an um, 
an exercise science building. Eventually they're gonna tear it down and make like a proper one because that used to be a gym. And then if you go past that, there's a parking garage. If you go past the parking garage, then you reach the education building. So if anyone's interested in education, it's a bit of a walk. It's totally worth it though. It's one of the oldest buildings on campus because Southern was actually a, a teacher school when they first started out. So their education program is amazing. It's just, it's a little inconvenient because it's all the way out there. I oh, think yeah. combo. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna go over to the student center. So the student center has uh, like most of our clubs in there. We have like, over 150 clubs. Uh, we have cultural clubs, hobby clubs, music clubs, stuff for your major. Basically anything you want is there. And if you don't have anything you want, you can make it yourself. So easy. Uh, in here we also have our Center. It's typically, I believe, 40 bucks a semester, but because of COVID, it's free right now. Um, but it's on the second floor. It has all the like, gym equipment, anything you need to work out, it's all in there. Uh, that big window area up top is the fireplace lounge. It's really fun spot to hang out and chill. It's a nice fireplace, really pretty lighting, small windows. On the first floor, uh, we have the food court. So, which, are you all living on campus next semester? Yeah? Okay. So, if you're living on campus, Uh, student merch if you want to like dress that you go to Southern. <laughs> uh, it's all downstairs down there. Uh, we also have commuter lockers, so if anyone ends up commuting but you want to bring yourself everywhere, uh, they have lockers down there that you can bring down. Any questions about anything so far? How much do you say for your uh, It's $40 a semester. Oh yeah, it's free rent. in there we have uh, like an off-brand subway an off-brand chipotle we have a burger and fries place which is my personal favorite it's really good uh, the chicken tenders are the best in my opinion really good uh, we also have a healthy options place which is like pizza and like sandwiches but all of organic and like whole meat and whatever uh, but yeah i've been told it's really good i've never heard anyone complain about it in my opinion you can this for me it's better than the dining hall that is just like this is better in my opinion uh, yeah, so down here we're in the cafeteria dining hall. We can't go inside of it, unfortunately. Uh, but as a first year student, you'll have full access to it because your dorm room has a kitchen, so if you want to make sure you're eating. Uh, I think it's pretty good. They have a lot of options. They switch it every week. Uh, they'll have cultural food, holiday food, uh, sushi nights. They always have pizza and like fries, sandwiches. They so stir fry every week. But they switch it up. It's really fun.
Uh, you click the button, uh, the police will be here like very quickly to get you. The police will be stopping right down there next to the residence hall. Um, they're here like 24 7 every day a week. So, like, it's very convenient. I don't think anyone's ever had to do this, but it's very convenient. Uh, personally, I've always felt very safe on the street. Very well fit. The bathroom is a little scary, you know, a little scary. But, like, it's cool. I've never felt unsafe. This is our dining hall. and you live on campus, you can't have a car, and this is where you would go to your parking pass. It's all free. You just give them car information. Uh, there's a big parking lot behind both of them. And if you want to park there, we also have a parking garage right over there for residents only. So there's plenty of space. I've never, like, gone without a parking spot. Like, they're never all filled, so it, like, should be fine. Now, on the opposite end of this is our student health center, which is kind of like a doctor's office on campus. Uh, you can have your prescriptions sent here. You can make appointments online like you would with a normal doctor. They do flu shots, COVID shots. Uh, they kind of do everything, which is convenient to have it right here. 
Uh, like I personally live an hour away, so I get my stuff sent here, so I could go home every time. Basically concludes the tour. We're back where we started. If anyone has any questions about literally anything, uh, just let me know. Uh, other than that, you're free to go. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Okay. Bye. Does anyone have questions? They're gonna use the restroom or anything. Or... You're all good. We're cool. good. Cool. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. So that concludes it for Southern University. We're heading back home to so our drive away. We need to get some food while going home, so we're hungry. And we did grab the kids from school in the middle of their lunchtime, so. Next time I'm going. But I'm not, I'm not loving this school at all. Um, tour guide didn't sell me, didn't let it go. So we have one more school to go, and that's AIC, so we'll see. Based on that, and that's the one that he has a full scholarship for, going search. Oh. What's up, don't pick up. Hi, right, guys. One of them have to eat. TJ, you want? Alright, guys, so we'll grab some food. And we're off. The food was so cold. Okay, I'm gonna start. Hi right, guys, so I'm gonna get some food and head home. So I'll see you again when we're heading to AIC. Come here, say when me feel for say. Say when you feel for say.